All right, episode eight of the Mark Pryor Road to the Show series, facing the first of uh, the team leading the division, Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Let's take a look. Their lineup is not actually all that intimidating. They do have their number six for batting 344, though. Facing Devin Smeltzer, who also has a sub three ERA. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And today's starting pitcher, Mark Pryor. All right. Let's start the game off right. Let's get a first pitch strike. Ooh, got the first pitch strike, but um, would have preferred it to not be right down the middle of the plate. And, uh, got him swinging at the pitch that I wanted there, but he fouls it off. Curveball in the dirt, no luck. And strike three called on the four seamer. Next up, the designated hitter. That one in there. Strike one. And that's outside. Gonna keep going with what's been working, which is just being aggressive, going right after batters. It is double A after all. Sinker hit on the ground to the second baseman. Solid contact, but an out's an out, I'll take it. Griffin Conine. There's a strike. Is Griffin Conine a real person? Why does that name sound familiar? Don't want a pitch clock violation. And not called a swing. Okay, Griffin Conine is a real player. He fouls that one off. Is he? Yeah, Jeff Conine's kid. Okay. Fights it off. We'll see another. Another two strike pitch here. Here's the Can go with the changeup. Got him swinging early on. It's strike three. End of a half inning of play, and there is no. We're back here at the ballpark, and here's the first baseman, number 26. First pitch, ball one. Pitching in the amateur ranks, but the question is, will that prowess translate to the professional level? There we go, strike one there. With the way he's operating up in the zone, these hitters need to adjust. They can't get out. Ground ball, first baseman, nice diving snag there. Out number one. The left fielder, the next to hit, and he has struggled this year. And that one fouled off. Prior, a six foot five righty. He throws a sinker, a changeup, a curve, a slider, and he works in a four seam. Right up 0 2 in the count. Gonna try a slider in on the hands. Got him to swing at it. Ground ball to the third baseman. Easy out. Banfield batting 344 on the season. This is the batter that I was afraid of looking at their lineup. Number 14 prospect for Miami. That one easily, easily caught by the center fielder. Barely had even had to range over. Come on, Montgomery. We don't want a repeat of last start. We have dropped the first two games in this series versus Pensacola. Ooh, that sinker was nowhere near where I wanted it. Three and one count. None of these pitches are ending up near where I want them. There we go. That change up ended up where I wanted it. Okay, looked like he was late on that one, so I'm going to go back in with the four-seamer. There we go. Easily popped up. Center fielder will range over to catch that one out, number one. 
the shortstop at the plate, Johnny Olmstead. Right through there for a strike. Out on the mound, he's been throwing lots of strikes, so the hitter might decide to be aggressive over the middle. Sinker low and away, exactly the pitch that I wanted in the exact location that I wanted, but he rips that one into the gap for an easy double. I guess it was a little more over the plate than I wanted, but still, that was just a good piece of hitting. Sinker low and away, hit into the gap. Actually, it looks like it was about the same as that pitch that I just threw. See, that was really the exact pitch that I wanted. Changeup crushed, but luckily just warning track power. Runner does not tag up and go to third, so runner on second with two outs here. First pitch, ball one. Right through there for a strike. Runner at second, two down. Got him swinging at that sinker. That sinking fastball looks really hittable out of the hand, but the late movement just curveball in the dirt. Ooh, circle change ended up um, a bit higher and a bit further over the plate than I would have liked. Luckily, it was just fouled off. Uh, keeps fouling pitches off. Continues to just foul pitches off. Gonna go with the slider here. I think it's the only pitch I haven't thrown this a bad, and that gets the strikeout. Show me the line score. Thank you. Montgomery, no runs in the bottom of the third. First pitch. Don't really know where that one missed. There's a strike. And the one one. Ooh, that one was right down Broadway. Luckily he did a check swing there. And got him swinging at the curveball strike three. And now the right fielder. Griffin Conine back up. First pitch strike. Not as high as I would have liked it to be, but still on the inside edge. Ooh, looked like he was early on that heater up and in. Go with the change up low and away. Fouls that one off. Curveball. Take a chance here. It's in the dirt. Got him swinging at the fastball up out of the zone. Easy fly out to right field. First pitch strike one to Montgomery. Line drive right to the first baseman. Four innings in the books now. Montgomery, no runs in the bottom of the fourth. Right, gonna try a circle change here on 0 2. Laid on that one, fouls that one off. He was laid on it, I'm gonna go with the high inside fastball, lays off of it, ball one. Sinker, check swing, that was a strike. Yep, strike three. Strike one, nice backdoor sinker there. Fastball in on the fist, that might actually drop for a hit. It does drop for a hit. Banfield just a lucky little bloop hit there. And ball one on a pitch very much in the zone. Hate to see that. Down and get the double play, but now that he's down two and oh, he may need to come up to get back into this at bat. Runner at first, one 
Three and one count here to Roby. And he lines that one into the gap. That's probably going to score the run here. Yeah, they're not even going to bother throwing it. RBI double. Scores the runner all the way from first. Recharge finally is activated here. Runner in scoring position, less than 50% stamina. Slider here, no luck. Change up? No, just not swinging at anything here. Got him swinging, strike three. Here's the center fielder, Dalvi Rosario. And a good fastball to start off. That's strike one. Ooh, that one ended up being very hittable. Luckily, he rips it foul. Change up. Do not get him to chase. Curveball got him to chase, though. Get out of the inning. Allowed one run. And they don't let us complete six innings, so we don't get credit for quality start. And Montgomery comes back to win it 7-1, so we end up with a no decision. Five innings, one run, three hits, seven strikeouts. Good start. One inning away from a quality start. I would have liked to have gone through the sixth inning also. But, you know, what, what you gonna do about it? Stamina's getting close to increasing. We have another pack to open. Dynamic perk. We'll go ahead and take the pitching one. I don't really know if I need recharge. I think I'm going to switch that to Velocity 3. Get the Velocity up, get the Pitching Clutch up, get the Hits Per 9 up. Boost us up from a 64 overall to a 65 overall. Check out the League Leaders after that start. We're still leading in Whip. Goes down a little bit to .68. Innings pitched. Didn't do ourselves any favors there. We dropped to 11th. 59 strikeouts. We're still in the lead. Waldrop still has one more start than us. Looks like he's just going to perpetually have one more start than us this whole season, but we're still ahead of him by three strikeouts. Home runs allowed. We still have that one home run allowed. Still with zero home runs allowed. Nick Nestrini through seven starts, 40 and two thirds innings. ERA is. Did I. Oh, we're fourth, 162. Fourth best ERA, Drew Thorpe still a sub one ERA through eight starts. And four losses with a sub eight ERA. That is insane. Still have no losses, only one of two qualifying pitchers without a loss. Our long relief pitcher, Edward Yusito, picked up his sixth win. He's now leading the league in wins. We're tied for fifth with four. Now we'll go ahead and simulate over to our next start. Pick up a loss versus Pensacola. Another loss. Uh, we only win one game in that series. That hurts us in the standings. Do sinker break and hits per nine. Keep proving that hit per nine. And our next start will be versus Rocket City. Facing another pitcher with a sub-3 ERA. 0-3, but a 2.94 ERA. And 
And yeah, Hurston Waldrop is still pitching the same day as us, as is Drew Thorpe, who are our two competitors for the league and for the league lead in strikeouts. So that'll do it for this episode. Next time we will face the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Take a look at the new standings where we are now two games back in the South Division after losing four or five to the Blue Wahoos.